number three in resultant of concurrent force system in space. The resultant of the three concurrent forces is 85 pounds backward up to the right. At theta x is equal to 53 degrees, theta y is equal to 13 degrees, and theta z is equal to 23 degrees. If force P is equal to 120 pounds located 5 or at 5 to 1, and force Q is equal to 60 pounds located at negative 2, negative 1, and negative or positive 3, determine the third force S and its inclination with respect to reference axis. Okay? So, we have to given ang ating uh, theta x is equals to 53 degrees theta y is equals to okay, 13 degrees and theta z is equals to 23 degrees okay. so gamitin nula tayo yung table para mas madalian tayo yung ating force p is equals to 120 pounds Force Q is 6 plus 2, 60 pounds, and your active force S. Okay? This is located at 5, 2, and 1. This is negative 2, negative 1, and positive 3. So, gamitan yung equation ng D na equals sa square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So, makawati yung D dito. D is equals to 5.447 for, for force P. And this is distance 3.4, uh, okay, sorry, 742. Okay, 742. So, mag-aaral mo yung fx, fy, and fc, gamit yung fx is equals to x multiplied by f over d. fy is equals to y multiplied by f over d. And yung fz is equals to z multiplied by f over t. Okay? Kaya yung ating uh, force f dito sa force p is 120 pounds. Ito namin distance x. Ito namin distance d. Okay? Kaya ang fx natin is equal to positive 109.549 Yung ating fy is positive 43.82 And yung uh, fz is positive 21.82 9, 10. Yung ating naman fx at q force is negative 32.068. fy is equal to negative 16.034. And yung fz is equal to positive 48.103. And this is submitting uh, sx, sy, and sz. And ito naman yung ating summation of forces Fx, summation of forces Fy, and summation of forces Fz. So, unknown yung ating summation of Fx, Fy, Fz, and Sx, Sy, and Sz. Pero, makukuha natin yung ating summation of Fx, Fy, and Fz gamit yung ating resultan. And given naman yung mga angle nila, so makukuha natin yung Fx, Fy, and Fz. Okay? So, kung ang ating theta is equals to, or sorry, kung ating cosine theta is equals to summation of forces over R, therefore, ang ating summation of forces is equals to R cosine of theta. So, kung summation of Fx is equals to R cosine of theta x. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung ating summation of Fx is equals to R cosine of theta x. At yung ating summation of force Fx is equals to okay, 52.331 pounds. And ang ating uh, Fx is to the right. Ibig sabihin, positive. Okay? So, ang ating summation of Fy is equals to R cosine of theta y. So, ang ating Fy is equals to positive 82 0.8 to 1 pounds. Bakit positive? Kasi upward yung ating R. Okay? So, summation of Fz is equals to R cosine of theta Z. So, yung ating uh, summation of Fz is equals to 
0.243 pounds and it is equal to negative. Bakit? Kasi ang ating R is ay, ang ating R is pointed backward. Okay? So yan. So makukuha natin yung ating SX, SY and SZ sa so, summation of forces FX. So summation of forces uh, FX to the right is positive is equals to positive 109.549 Minus 32.068 plus SX. Kaya yung ating SX is equals to negative 25.15 pounds. So since negative ang ating SX, it is directed to the left. Okay? So yung ating summation of forces FY naman, upward is positive, is equals to Positive 43.82 minus 16.034 Okay? Plus SY So yung ating SY is equal to Okay? Positive 55.035 pounds So since positive, it is directed upward or up Okay? Next, summation of forces Z Okay, forward is positive is equal to positive 21.91 plus 48.103 plus SZ. Kaya ang ating SZ is equal to okay, negative 148256 Pounds. So, since negative, it is directed backward. Okay? Kaya makukuha natin yung ating overall force S. So, S is equals to square root of Sx squared plus Sy squared plus Sz squared. So, ang ating force S is equal to 160.1 pointed backward up to the left. Okay? So, in terms of inclination naman with the reference axis, so, ang ating theta x is equals to arc cosine of sx over s. Okay? Ating theta y is equals to arc cosine of s y over s. At yung ating theta z is equals to arc cosine of s z over s. Okay? Ang ating theta x is equals to 80.964 degrees. At ating theta y is 69. 898 degrees and yung ating theta z is 22.203 degrees okay so this is our problem number 3 for the resultant of concurrent force system in space okay so thank you for watching bye bye